Uh, I have the pleasure of bringing up our CEO, again, the visionary of Wakana. And I'm talking about this woman here has her eyes so far in the future. We're just trying to hold on to her coattails. This is our CEO, Melissa Boston. Please go ahead and take it over. Wow, Kathy, thank you so much. Oh my goodness, hello, hello, Wakanda Nation. I'm actually here in our headquarters in Chicago, Illinois, and I'm super excited about this virtual hair party. So I wanna welcome all of our barbers, our musician, our stylists, and those of you who are tuning in from all across the country. In fact, make sure you let us know where you're tuning in from. I see this call is filling up to capacity. So again, we wanna welcome everyone. I hear somebody clicking back there. If you guys can mute yourself out real quick, some of my panelists, <laughs> let, I'll let our panelists mute themselves out. Thank you for that. And so I'm excited because I have a chance to talk about something that I know is near and dear to my heart, and that is talking about hair today. We're going to talk about Wakana's newest venture into this emerging industry that literally is about to hit a 100 billion dollars. And I know many of you want to get your share of that industry. And some of you want to learn about solutions for your hair. And we're excited because not only will we talk about the industry today, but as Kathy said, yes, we have our iconic legend on the webinar today. In fact, she is sought after all across the country. And we have her as our very own trichologist and healthy hair expert. So you're going to hear from her as it relates to the science behind the product. But let's go ahead first and share the screen. So one moment as I share my screen and jump into my portion of the presentation today. And so we have a campaign that we're launching because I know that as African-American women, okay, as African-American men, it's important that we love our hair. It's important that we love our roots. And it's unfortunately that for decades, the beauty industry discounted us. They left us out of that industry and they really had models that didn't look like us. And what they didn't realize though, is the power, the economic power that we have as a race, as a people. And we're excited today because guess what? What they ignored could be your opportunity to really take this billion dollar market on and go out there and help people you know empower their families. Because so many of us have struggled with our hair for so long, it's time that we brought a solution, but not just a solution, a healthy, all natural solution, because we know that we're all health conscious as well. If you're a part of the Wakana land world, we know that you are absolutely health conscious because we know that Wakana is wellness. So it's not just about what you put in your body, it's also about what you put on your body. The shampoos and the conditioners that we use can actually help us in the wellness plan or it can hurt us. And so we wanna bring safe, natural products to the marketplace. And so here's a beauty industry that has continued to fail us. If you look at the hair care industry and the lack of diversity, not just a lack of diversity in the products, but also a lack of diversity and even the models, having people that unfortunately don't look like us oftentimes when you see some of the biggest brands out there. And then if you've ever had your challenge with makeup, right? Perhaps you've applied some makeup and when you were done, you thought you looked great until you took a photo and you realized it was kind of like an ash gray. And that's because even with our diversity of skin colors, they look at us as maybe two or three colors, not realizing we represent dozens and dozens and dozens of colors, even with our own race. And so we have to have companies that are responsive and looking at all of those areas. And then when we think about skincare, you know, I remember I was in an anti-aging company and we used to say in that company, well, the reason why there's not a lot of African-Americans it's because black don't crack. That became the joke in the company that we know black people, and we know that's true, right? A lot of times in most cases, you know, black skin tends to hold up really, really good. But here's the reality. Black women love investing in our skin. Did you know that? In fact, we represent a big portion of skincare cells. So yes, it's true that our skin might hold up, but we absolutely want to put the nourishments on our skin so that we can maximize the longevity of our skin and really keep those wrinkles away for as long as possible. And I'm excited today because Wakana has brought to you the solution because oftentimes we hear about the problems and the frustrations that we have as women, even as men. But when you look at this industry, if you look at this even just the hair care segment alone, 
It's a $473 million that we're spending as African-American men and women, okay? It's 473 million and this does not include our weaves. This does not include our wigs. This just includes the products that we're buying and this number is back from 2017. Now I'm here to tell you today, I'm not wearing a wig, I'm not wearing a weave. This is all my hair, but here's the, the reality. A lot of times when I wash my own hair, I'm challenged when I wash that hair because sometimes it's so unruly that I can't even let anyone see my hair. I stay home, okay? And so I can get to the stylist. But I'm so excited because we brought solutions that really can help you not only embrace your natural hair, to love your natural hair, to love your roots, to love the hair you were born with, okay? But solutions that are safe, that are natural, that are affordable. And then if you also look at the skincare industry, I mean, I was amazed when I recognized that African-American women, we're spending $465 million on skincare, and that's as of 2017. So obviously today that number is even bigger than ever. And so again, we're here to share with you a little bit about what's happening in the industry, but also to bring to you that solution. Because one of the other things that I read, you know, it talked about ethnic women and their spending habits as it relates to our hair. Do you know that African-American women, we are eight times more likely to spend money on hair products and solutions than other ethnic categories. And when I thought about that, I said, wow, you know, they've really slept on our market. They've slept on our dollar and we don't want to take that dollar now and start giving it to a lot of these companies who ignored us. It's time for us to be the solution to this problem. In fact, as a group, do you know, African-Americans, do you know that our spending power is 1.2 trillion dollars? And again, a big portion of that, we're utilizing that on beauty products, on hair care products. And so we've introduced something that we're super excited about. In fact, we call this the Royal Collection because again, we spared no expense to bring the best of the best, to make sure we're sourcing the best ingredients, ingredients that make a difference, that make an impact. And so with our Royal Collection, we believe that you should be able to drench your skin in royalty every day. And a part of that has to do with our luxurious body butters, our oud oil, which absolutely is one of my favorites between the oud oil and our Lotus body butter cream. Oh my goodness, they're yummy, yummy on your skin and you're gonna smell absolutely delicious as, as you drink and drench your skin in royalty, okay? And so if you look at the history of the lotus. When you think about the fact that this is a plant that was sought after by the kings and queens and only royalty had access to this. This is something that by itself is extremely expensive. It's ex extremely rare. And so again, we wanted to bring the best of the best to make sure you're able to take your skincare regimen up a notch and have premium products at affordable pr prices. In fact, do you know that the lotus plant can actually impact the nervous system. It can impact our emotions in a positive way. It interacts with all parts of our being. So it's something that we could utilize just for overall well being. And we're super excited to have that in our body butter. But then we also have our conditioner and detangler. I know my challenge was the fact that my hair was sometimes just so unruly, okay? Where I would wash my hair, and I don't know if you've ever had that experience where you wash your hair and you end up with a lot of hair all of a sudden on your shoulders. And you're looking at it like, why is this happening, okay? And what I love about our products, I didn't have that experience where I had left, it didn't leave me with a lot of hair that was shredding and shedding off my hair, okay? But also too, we had this amazing detangler, which was able to get out all those knots and kinks. And so my hair was so manageable that I couldn't even believe it. And so we have this amazing detangler 
that you're going to absolutely love. In fact, one of the stars of this, our trichologist will share with you some of the reasons why these products are so amazing. In fact, when you utilize this product, you want to utilize our detangler on nap on wet hair. It's important that you've already shampooed your hair, put it on damp hair, and you're going to find that it's going to work so amazing. What I'm going to do real quick, just because we do have our expert on the line, we're going to move through some of the features and benefits and get right to some of the product packages that you can go find online. In fact, for women, we have four different product packs right now. One of them we call Relief. For those who you know might need the gift of relief, then we have relax because who do you know that needs to just really take a serious chill, okay? Perhaps they're uptight, they're anxious, and they just need to learn how to relax. We have something for them. We have our renew, and that's where we're featuring this amazing new hair care line along with our bath salts, along with our skincare line, which is our anti-aging serum. So you can get all of that in our Renew package and it's available on our site, but we also have something called Revitalize. In fact, when you go to the website, you can check out all the specifics, all the details and read up on each one of those products. In fact, here's a breakdown if you wanna see exactly what's there, but remember, this is also available online, so you can go right to the website and get all of these amazing details on our Renew Pack, our Revitalize Pack, our Relax Pack, and our Relief Pack. And in fact, when you purchase our gift packs, we also include a postcard because we want to deliver your clients, deliver your family, your friends, your loved ones, not just a gift, but also a gift that makes an impact, a gift with a message. And we know that we can all be so busy, especially around these holiday times. And so we have the perfect postcard, which provides the solution for you. In fact, on the back of that postcard, we're going to check off which package is included in their gift. It's going to tell them all the products and just a little bit about each one of those products. And so with that being said, I am super pumped up right now to have the honor and pleasure of bringing up our healthy hair care expert. In fact, she's went and studied our shampoo and all of the ingredients, and she's actually prepared some special notes so that you can learn regarding the 10 stars of this amazing CBD infused shampoo. And so without any further ado, this is a woman who's not only a trichologist, she's an industry icon, she's an expert sought after all across the country, but we are so excited that we have her as our healthy hair expert. So without any further ado, Doris Mosley, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the floor over to you. Wow, Melissa, you know, I just get so excited. You could really take the whole call. I am so excited and I just wanna thank you guys for giving up your time. I always say time is something you can't get back, but here with Wakana, if you have a follicle still alive, you can get your hair back. And that's why we are so excited about what's going on here uh, at Wakana. Just wanted to let you know for starters that we're at an all-time epidemic. Hair loss is at an all-time epidemic. And the, the medical term for hair loss is uh, alopecia. Now we have a stress. Today, we are under a lot of stress, believe me, with all this added things that we're dealing with, stress is, is head in the list for hair loss. And one of the things that we recommend that you take for the stress is our gummies. I take the gummies because anxiety is so high and I take a gummy and I'm fine. So, you know, let's get with the gummies because the system itself work down the line. We have all the products that are there for you that have been tried, that have been tested and been proven. I am a perfect example for hemp powered hair because the ingredients that we kind of put together there made sure that we get our hair back, providing I always say that the hair follicles are still there because you're born with about 5 million follicles over the entire body and over 100,000 of those make it to the head. And, and we gotta be, you know, we gotta really treat those follicles with a lot of care. That's why I'm so excited about the product now that we have uh, our shampoo. I mean, I didn't just want to come out here and say the shampoo, this, that, and other. I wanted to do my homework and I wanted to make sure 
that the, the ingredients was ingredients that was working ingredients. So I did my research and I'm telling you, I just got to take my hair off to Wakana because they did their homework and they did their homework by bringing oils together that were going to help restore the hair because there's two parts to hair. And I always like to make sure you know that. And that is the root, which Melissa just said, love your roots. You got to have your roots. And then your shaft. The shaft is above the, the uh, epidermis, which is the top layer of, of skin. And uh, you, you got to make sure you love on the roots. And the product that they have put together really pay close attention to the root. So I went and researched the 10 starring products of our hemp-powered hair shampoo. And let's, let's look at the first one, desyl glucoside. And that is um, mild, non-ionic surfactant used in cosmetics. It kills bacteria. And you know, we can have a lot of bacteria on the hair and the scalp. Skin is the largest organ of elimination. And if you're not cleansing those pores, you will end up with a lot of bacteria. It's plant-derived, biodegradable, and gentle for all types of hair, not just one type. You know, we have several different types. We have our curly, we have our wavy, we have our straight, we have our kinky. But this product, Hemp Powered Hair Shampoo, is for all types of hair. Then we have the laurel glucoside. Uh, glucoside in a sugar-based surfactant used as an emulsifier and a stabilizer produced from natural raw material. And that's what Wakanda is all about. It's about natural products that we put on our hair that we don't have to worry about having a reaction. It's perfectly safe with no adverse effects. And that's what you want because it is natural. And the one thing I love about Wakanda they have three-party testing. So it's not like one person going to say, okay, let it run. No, they make sure that it is being tested and, it is, and it's being approved to bring to the marketplace. We have sweet basil leaf oil contributes to a light and refreshing scent. It's nothing like lying back in the shampoo bowl or in your shower having an uh, experience with the shampoo and you get a nice fragrance stimulating to the hair follicles and circulation. Stimulating to the hair follicles is what you want to pay close attention to because once a hair follicle dies, that's it. You're going to lose that strand of hair and it's not going to be replaced. It's going to have a, a follicle hysterectomy. That's what is going to happen. And it facilitate healthy hair growth, reduce slow the rate of hair loss. And that's our goal here at Wakana. We want to slow down, if not stop, hair loss. Rosemary leaf oil help relieve itchy scalp. If you have an itchy scalp, then that means you could damage your follicles because the follicles, again, lie 0.3 centimeter beneath the top layer of skin. So if you're stretching and itching, that could easily cause a follicle to be lost. Improve cellular generation. I had the opportunity to... Uh, interview an oncologist. And I asked her, I said, at what point do a person lose their hair with chemo? And she said, Doris, it happens at the cellular level. So we have a product here that supports the cellular generation. So that's, that's important to me because I'm all about keeping the hair on the head that you were given from birth. Help deep clean the cuticle layer and get the hair, get the product off the hair the buildup product. Now, if you're shampooing and you're not cleansing properly, then you are just conditioning over conditioner, which eventually it will be dull. The hair will become dull. And no matter what you do, it will not cleanse that cuticle layer. The cuticle layer is the top layer. It's the outside layer of that shaft. That shaft has three layers. So now we are concentrating on the cuticle layer to cleanse because when you're looking at the cuticle layer, you're looking straight through, it is transparent, and you're looking at the second layer, and that's important. Laurel leaf oil boosts and promote hair growth, and that's what it's all about, and that's what I love about this product. The, all of the ingredients support one another. Prevent excessive hair loss is an astringent that helps to lighten the grip of the hair and root. Remember, 
Melissa came on and said what? Love your roots. Prevent loss of hair. Ginger root oil stimulates hair follicles, promotes hair growth. When you stimulate that hair follicle, you are saying, hey, wake up, wake up. If you're sleeping, if it's sluggish, if it's sick, you're waking that hair follicle up. If it's dead, it's over. But you can stimulate that hair follicle. And it strengthens the strand, restores moisture. Now, hair is made of two things. It's made of moisture and it's made of protein. So those are the two things that you have to consider when you're looking at hair, when you're feeling hair, when you're touching. It is to uh, stimulate and restore the moisture. Eucalyptus leaf essential oil, natural nourishing properties. Now, if you don't get good nourishment, even in your body, it's going to be a default. Somewhere, there's going to be a breakdown. So the you, you, uh, eucalyptus, it is nourishing, has nourishing properties. It soothes and calms the scalp so healthy looking hair can shine through. It soothes and calms. That means it calms down what's going on and allow that skin to do what it's supposed to do because hair is an appendage of skin. And you want to have healthy skin to have healthy hair. Very relaxing. The aroma of eucalyptus, once again, it's very relaxing. And when you relax, guess what happens? Your things circulate properly. Lemon peel oil, natural oil for the hair. Cleanse the scalp. Idea for oily scalps. Now, if you have excessive oil, it can calm that down, the lemon. And it's, uh, scalps maintain health and shine. Now, when you're cleansing with lemon oil, it cleanses that shaft again. It helps get that buildup off the shaft. And that's important when you're dealing with hair. Hydrolyzed wheat protein. Remember I said hair is made of what? Protein and moisture. It's rich in amino acids, natural for hair care. Reduces hair porosity and strengthen it from within. Now, if a person say you have good porosity, that's not good. Good porosity means that you have a lot of uh, entry to that cuticle layer, and that's not good. So it calms that down. It kind of reduces that um, porosity because you want to have some, but not good porosity. You rather have bad porosity, which it, that cuticle layer is the protective layer. And I tell people all the time, if you're in a house and all your windows are broken out, your doors are open, that's considered your cuticle layer. That's your protective layer. You, you're not open for trouble. So your um, hydrolyzed wheat protein, it helps keep that porosity down. Now you want to say, well, how can I tell if I have good or bad porosity? You can take some strands of your hair put it in a glass of water, a cup of water, and see would it stay on top or would it float to the bottom. Now, if it goes and emerge under the water, that means you have good porosity, which is, again, not good, okay? It reduces breakage, eliminates frizz, tangles, and make your hair appear fuller. Now, and it makes it healthier, shiny, and easy to style. Remember, Melissa was saying how easy it is now to manage your hair? That's because of what in our product, the ingredients have been picked so highly and have been blended together to work. You can't lose. Again, Wakana is getting ready to, to make some noise out there with this hair care product because I kept saying, Melissa, we want a system. We want a system. And, and she didn't rush it. She made sure it was right before the system came to the marketplace. And that's why I am so excited to be a part of this team because they make sure it is right. Pro Vitamins B5, ability to deeply moisturize and penetrate the skin and hair. Remember, hair is an appendage of skin. So if you don't have healthy hair, nine times out of 10, you're not gonna have healthy uh, skin. If you, I mean, if you don't have healthy skin, you're not gonna have healthy hair. So we wanna make sure because our CBD product brings the balance back into the body. So we have CBD in our product. So you're, going, you're just going to be so blessed to have this in your cabinet. But not only in the cabinet, 
on your hair, on your skin. It prevents moisture loss. Locks in moisture from other ingredients in the shampoo. In other words, it supports the other ingredients that's in the shampoo. It helps locks in the moisture. It deeps penetrate hair and help nourishes the scalp as well. I am excited. I hope you are excited because those were the 10, I call those the 10 stars of our hemp power shampoo. Next week, I'm give you the stars of our conditioner because when you have a conditioner that conditions, detangles, and easy to comb, you are knocking it out of the park right there. And Wakana has truly knocked it out of the park. It puts moisture into the hair. It puts the strength in the hair. It helps put the shine in the hair. You can't beat that. That's what people want. We have three known types of hair. Fine, I mean, uh, wavy, curly, straight. You can't beat that. Now, we do have some extremely curly hair. Mine I consider extremely curly. But look, it is meant for that too. So we're excited about it. And Melissa, I am so glad that I'm, I'm sure I worried you to no end, but you just say it's coming, it's coming because it was being properly formulated so it can work. And you're on this line today. When you get off the Zoom, go to your website, place your product order so you can have it not only in your cabinet. It don't work in the cabinet. It, don't, it doesn't work on the shelf. It only going to work on your hair. And when you shampoo your hair, just relax and enjoy all that the Hemp Power hair product has to offer. Back to you, Melissa. Wow, Doris. Well, there's a question for you that I think might be great to um, incorporate when we use the Hemp Powered hair in the process. So at what stage, once you wash, you detangle with the conditioner, they're asking when are you using the Hemp Powered hair oil? Okay, great question. When you use the Hemp Powered hair oil is after you have blow dried or after you have wet set and dried, any one of those times, you can use it if you're just using it as the drops. And that the drops should be used at least three times a week on your challenged area. And it should be used under the tongue at least three times a week. And again, you don't want to touch your tongue and you don't want to touch your hair or scalp with your dropper because you don't want to contaminate your product. Now, if you're using it as a treatment, you could actually use it the same day and how you use it as a treatment, you take, depending on how much hair you have, you take anywhere from a half an ounce to an ounce of water. You mix 12 drops of our hemp powered hair oil, shake it up well, make sure your hair is 50% dry. And then you spray it on to your hair and completely dry it. If you're doing thermal work, or if you're gonna wet set at that point, you wet set. And if you went a weave, then you're going to uh, make sure that it's 50% dry and you spray it on the scalp and on the braids that the hair is attached to. You will find that you will have less um, shedding. You're going to have shedding. Shedding is a natural thing. Hair grow through three phases, antigen phase, catagen phase, and telogen phase. When it gets into the telogen phase, that's the shedding. It's natural. Anywhere from 50 to 100 strands a day. So if your hair is locked down, you're going to shed anyway, but it's just not going to get off the head. But I found in my practice, the more people use the hemp powered hair oil, the less shedding that they're going to have. Any other questions? Mm -hmm. There's another question about vegan products. Now our hemp powered oil does have salmon oil in it. And then I know with our body cream, we do one with goat milk. The men's we formulate it with hemp, hemp, um, hemp oil. So it doesn't use the goat milk in the men's body butter, but those two products, if it's a goat milk body cream, of course that's not vegan. And the hemp powered hair oil is not vegan because of the salmon. And we do infuse the hemp powered hair oil in most of our products because it's just such an amazing product. So if you want to avoid all animal products, even on your scalp, then you would want to avoid the hemp powered hair line at this point. And, we, and Melissa, we also recommend that they do a, a predisposition test also. 
and you do the predisposition test by putting some behind the ear and in the pit of the arm right here. And you leave it on for 24 hours. And if nothing happens in 24 hours, usually you're okay. But you want to always do that because um, just in case, I think bail bob is there and you have the nut. So you don't want to have no allergic reaction. But so far, you know, we're doing great. They're asking about samples. So we can talk about, okay, here's another question. It says, is it okay to tell a bald headed man that he might be able to have hair again? <laughs> that's a that's a Norris question right there. If the bald headed man look like this, no, it's over, okay? Now, if he have hair back here, enough that he can transplant to the front, then he has a chance through a transplant, surgical transplant. But if he has baldness right here, like, I mean, not baldness right here, but baldness that look like this, it's over. And how you can tell if a person still have follicle, there's fuzz there and there's little stubbiness. Now that's a chance he can get some back. But if it's slick, baby slick, no, no. And so what, let's talk about prevention though, right? Because I think the DHT, the negative testosterone, a lot of the stuff that causes that, how can men, you can't ever say we can always prevent it, but at least we can reduce occurrences. Slow it, if, right. slow it down. Right. DHT is what happens when testosterone, well, the excessive amount of testosterone that's in the body, uh, you have a, a, a adrenaline gland that uh, secretes um, alpha five and that takes on the follicle and build that's where where dht come into play it, it attaches itself to the extra testosterone like men who does a lot of exercise you notice in the gym the guys who are really buff most of them not most of them but a lot of them they're losing their hair up here and that's that testosterone now how can you tell if a person has dht it's through uh, a biopsy, a biopsy. That's how they can tell. But, a D, but DHT is not the friend for a follicle because it encases that follicle and chokes out the nutrients. And eventually that follicle dies. But I always say you can slow that down when you're using hemp-powered hair because rosemary is in our hemp powered hair oil, rosemary is in our shampoo. And what it does, it's a natural DHT blocker. And it's also in the beard and scalp for the men. So this is a very similar formula for the men. And there's actually some gentlemen on the line asking about that. Before we answer your question though, someone asked about sample products that we can buy. Right now, because of our holiday promos, these products are only available in our gift boxes, but we will have certain products available after the Christmas specials where you can buy them individually in smaller sizes and then you can sample them out as needed. So we will have things available on an individual basis. But the gift packs are only while supplies last. So hopefully that answers that question about samples. So let's get into the, the guys doors. So basically we have something very similar to the empowered hair for the men. We call it our beard and scalp oil, but it's very similar. The ingredients are almost identical, pumpkin seed, all the things we need for that DHT, right? That negative testosterone. So how does the men take this? How would they utilize that for their beard and their hair? I think you're muted out. Are you muted? Yeah, you're muted. Okay. Can there you, you hear me now? Yes. Okay, they will use it actually the same way that the women or they will use it on the head. I think the, uh, Minister Mooney is a great example because he used the, the uh, hemp powered hair oil on his beard and his beard came in much fuller. So they would do the same thing. They would cleanse their face properly and they will take um, the drops and place it along where this needed and gently massage it in. And one thing we've added for the men is we have a beard balm. Some of you might have that. It's more of a, um, a finisher. It's a grooming technique. You only need a little bit, but if you've had a chance to get that, and I would love for you to try it, 
I know how um, I experienced it, Doris. I tried a little bit just to see, and I was like, okay, wow, I can see how it manages the guy's hair because it's very heavy. So you don't need a lot of it. Um, and for the women, we have something called hair magic that's coming soon. Um, for, for now, what we did, Doris, is we gave all the women a sample. If they ordered it on Monday, they were able to get a sample of the beard balm because it's going to be similar to the hair magic, where for those of you who have that really sometimes dry, unmanageable hair, there's two things we have for you. One of them is a special um, styling cream that's going to give a lot of moisture. It's got a lot of natural um, organic oils in it as well. But then for those who really need that extra finisher because you have all the flyaways and it's just, you guys know what I mean. If, you, if, I, if I'm speaking to you, you know who you are. <laughs> you want to add that hair magic on top of it. See, some people can get away with two steps, Doris. But see, I need four steps. I'm a four step girl. <laughs> so you have beautiful hair. Oh, it's only because I had to utilize the products, you know. <laughs> yeah, so it, it works, seriously, because I, I can fight with my hair with the best of them. <laughs> Somebody ask about some. Let's see what's the other ones. Okay, somebody wants a scalp. Can we offer them the steps to use product? Okay. Is there a way to get a scalp or a skin consultation? I know you do that, um, Doris. So over the Zoom, can you do that with someone? Uh huh. I can do that, or they can take a picture of their scalp and send it to me, and then call me, or they can FaceTime me. I'll give my number is three one zero. Nine two zero three zero six five. Say that one more time. Three one zero nine two zero three zero six five. Okay, great. So you can get your consultation with our expert. She can analyze your scalp and help you to see what might be happening there. And I do know we have so many examples of people who were dealing with alopecia dealing with a lot of different challenges, even some of our men who were dealing with hair loss. But again, you have to catch it early because we had one gentleman who started losing his hair when he was 17. Now he's about 30. He started using our product and some of it's actually coming back. So you don't want to wait so long to like Doris said, there's nothing you can do. You want to prevent it. If you can just be as proactive as possible. Here's another question about eyebrows. Can we use this on eyebrows? Yes, you can use it wherever there is hair because that means there is a follicle there. Yes. And you know what, Melissa, people really don't start noticing that they are losing their hair until they're about 51% gone. So I always say, if you see something, say something. Like John Lewis said, if you see something, say something. Because at an early stage, like he was saying, if you notice and you get an excessive amount of hair on your shoulders, on your shower floor or in the shampoo bowl, that's excessive. Then at, you at a point you need to start doing something before it goes beyond that point. So, and I tell people, just because you think you have healthy hair and look good and healthy looking, that's fine. You should still be using our hemp powered hairline simply because you want to keep it like that. Because once you pass 40 years old, things start to change. So you want to stay ahead of the game and not behind the game. That's good stuff. Does the products help with dandruff? Yes, it does. Because um, the black seed oil that's in our product, it has uh, anti-inflammatory. And that's all dandruff is. And it's really just, it's not really dandruff. We know it is dandruff, but what it is, is that your skin cells are manufacturing faster than what you can get off. And sometimes it's product buildup on the scalp. Improper rinsing can, give, can be disguised as what we call dandruff. But so if you have that buildup, you're gonna be itching. So what you need to do is definitely put the um, hemp powered hair on, but make sure that you're cleansing. And now that we have a shampoo you can now shampoo and cleanse really well. That's the, that's the great part about this system. And I'm so happy about Melissa. <laughs> yes, and you know, it's great for the body too. So really when you talk about the beard, they can use it for their beard, their body, their hair, their scalp. So it's so convenient. One product does it all. We love those convenient steps, right? Someone asked about the edges though. Can you talk about the edges? Hairline? A lot of it is from 
uh, traction alopecia. That's the that is the main leading cause now for hairlines to be gone. Is traction alopecia. For instance, I got my hair. This is the first time I had my hair braided to be worn outside in about 35, 40 years. Okay. But the young lady who braided my hair, she started my braid off without any added hair. So it's not stressful on my hairline because I cannot afford to have no hairline. And how you can tell about where your hairline should be, you take your little finger, place it here, close it down, and where you, this, this finger land is where your hairline should begin. So if you're wearing styles that cause tension on the hairline, kind of loosen it up. And, or alter the style. And if you're wearing a weave and they're braiding so tight, sewing it on so tight, eventually you're going to have some challenges there. So that hair could come back providing there is the follicle still alive there. And if you continue to do those type of styles that cause traction alopecia, you're going to eventually lose that hairline for good. Now, there's a type of alopecia, they call it centrifugal or CCCA, which I know is the scarring that results in permanent hair loss. Someone asked about products with that particular, and I can probably tell you the answer, but can you explain, is there ways to also prevent that, um, Doris? You can you talk what? about CCCA? Yes, exactly. Melissa, it's amazing that they asked that question because that's what I was once diagnosed with, CCCA. And what it is, is central. It starts up here. Central, centrifugal, meaning it starts to spread out. Cicatricia, it was scarring alopecia. Yes, and my hair came back. I showed them last week. I didn't put in braids. I wanted to show them how full and thick my hair is now. You need, but see the thing about it, Melissa, people will get the product and they will put it on the shelf and use it every now. You're, you're muted out there. You hit the button. Okay, they'll say the product didn't work for me. No, it's not gonna work for you if you do not use it properly. Now, what I did, I used the product the way it was formulated to be used. I was very consistent because I was very nervous about losing my hair. Another reason that happens, the, the dermatologist said, hot comb alopecia was contributed to CCCA and chemical alopecia, meaning improper application of relaxers, chemical straighteners. Your skin and your hair is basically the same. So if whatever is doing to your hair, it's doing to your skin. So if your relaxers are being applied directly to the scalp, it's pre-softening your skin like it's pre-softening your hair. So with CCCA, Hemp powered hair was the answer, but I was so consistent in using it. And it took like about two months for me to start seeing the difference. And my journey continued to my hair is fully back. So get on the uh, hemp powered hair now. Wow, that is awesome. <laughs> what a powerful testimonial. Now she says hemp powered hair helped my eyelashes and eyebrows to grow. Yeah. Um, right. <laughs> my eyelashes and eyebrows. <laughs> That's awesome. Somebody says, is it true that we should wash natural hair daily for moisture? Is that true? We should wash natural hair daily for moisture. Okay. I'm going to start by saying we're going to shampoo our hair uh, <laughs> for moisture. We're not going to wash. We're going to wash our clothes and our body. Although our product is good for washing the body, but shampooing the hair. Now, you can, because you know what? I always tell people, Oprah Winfrey gets her hair shampooed daily because she, she appears on, when she was doing her show, the Oprah Winfrey show. So it's not about shampooing it daily. It's about what you're shampooing with. So now I can say, we got the product. We got the product with the ingredients that's going to not rob our hair of moisture. It's going to moisturize our hair. So you can shampoo your hair every day. Our, people that don't look like us shampoo theirs every day. Think about it. It's what you're using on your hair makes the difference. We'll rob it of its moisture. Well, Doris, that's great, but that's way too much work. So I think I'm going to go. 
No, because of our because of the way we style our hair, oh, we don't normally shampoo our hair every day. <laughs> come down to Chicago, girl, because this, yeah. Oh my goodness. So there's some uh, more questions. Wait a minute. Let's see. Does Doris use the product topically and orally? Both. Yes. I use it topically and I still use it. Although my hair is back last week, I, sh I didn't have braids. I showed you guys. I, although I, my hair is back and I stopped using it for two months. I just wanted to see when my hair fall out. It did not. So I'm back using it because I want to keep my hair. I do not want to sit up here talking about hair loss and hair restoration and have no hair. <laughs> so I use it still, yes. Let's see here. Oh, it's a comment from Carol. Oh, thank you, Carol. She said my hair looks beautiful. Well, I appreciate that. It's courtesy of stylist Melissa Boston now, Doris. Okay, move on over. <laughs> what is this? Okay, Cindy says, does she still use it? Yes. So you just talked about the fact that you still use oh, yeah, it. Still use this it. is Mary. Oh, Mary says, thank you, Melissa, for helping our beauty industry. I've been in the industry for 40 years and I have not seen anything like it. I have used it for a month of my hair, Empowered Hair. So she's been on the Empowered Hair already. So I can already know you're probably having great success because if you're consistently using that product, it's amazing. That's great. Wow. Well, Doris, this was awesome. You answered, I think, everybody's question. I'm looking to see, did I leave anybody out, guys? I try to get all of them, but sometimes it can move a little bit fast. But I think we must have gotten everyone's question. And Melissa, I attended a dermatology convention, dermatologist convention, and they're saying, you said since 2017, but let me tell you how much it has advanced. $3.5 billion industry, the hair care product industry. Wow. And that's including weaves and everything, guys, right? Is that the weaves and all the wigs? So that's amazing, guys. You hear that? We got to get our share, right? And somebody right. says, if they do drug tests with hair, will THC show up if they drug test your hair? Now... Here's the question, Doris. If you're taking him powered hair internally, it has a little bit of the THC. So they would only have to take it topically if they have to get drug tested, right? Yes. It's best not to take it internally if you're going to be drug tested. Perfect. That's great. And let's just see. There's two more comments that came in. Let's see anything else. Oh, here's another great. Can you speak about this line with dreadlocks? With, oh, with locks? Oh, yes. With locks, you can use it directly on the scalp and under the tongue. And as a treatment, you're going to use it. And I can't use her. She has locks. You put it inside a spray bottle. Yes. And uh, put the drops in, 12 drops to anywhere from a half an ounce to an ounce, depending on how much hair. And then you're going to spray it down your locks and squeeze it in. Shake it up and all the water don't mix, but you're gonna water is the carrier into the uh, locks. And you spread, look how beautiful the locks are. Spread and you'll be fine. If you shampoo your locks, you want to dry your locks on top of your head so it doesn't pull the water, the, the weight of the water and pull them down. But towel dry them really good and spray them with the treatment. And look at Kathy's. Kathy's has beautiful They have gotten pretty long. They're about here now. So beautiful. Wow. Love him powered hair. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't wait to get my stuff. For those who wear the locks, all you need to do for the shampoo is I would just take and dilute it a little bit and spray it onto the locks. And just squeeze it in and squeeze it in. And then when you rinse, you want to rinse with the water not so high powered because it'll just bounce off. You want to slow down the force of the water so it'll go into the lungs and get all that build up out of it and rinse off. What about someone who to use this in between their braids on their scalp? Can they use this in between their braids? The uh, empowered hair, it looks like. My hair is braided. You know I use point my braids on my scalp. You can use your hip power to hair uh, Melissa, what I've been doing with my braids, I've been using the oud oil. I use that on mine also. Perfect. Let's see here. 
how long does it usually stay in your system? Well, if it, you're talking about the THC, it's all dependent on your metabolism. Some people metabolize it out right away. So we can't tell you when it will leave your system, but we do know ours is very, very, very minimal. It's not a lot of THC. So in many cases it won't show up, but we have to tell you it could show up. So there's a possibility. In fact, Dr. Rita did some studies and she said you have to drink like what? Lots of the ounces to get the test to show up, but you never know. Somebody might metabolize one drop. You might be that one in a million. So just don't take a chance, right? Exactly. Okay, let's see here. Kathy, your locks are beautiful. That's Mom Mitchell. <laughs> Ms. Fatima says, thank you for wonderful instructions on how to use on locks. Wonderful. Thank you for adding and extending CBD products for the hair industry. As a veteran hair technician and ex experiencing major hair losses and damaged scalps, this will be epic for my clients. I've already seen... Um, am amazing results from my clients suffering from alopecia and natural hair baldness. Wow. That is amazing, guys. That is amazing. Thank you for sharing that. And I think somebody else had said something. Can we use it to oil our scalp? Can we use it to oil our scalp? Now, as far as oiling your scalp, can you talk about that in this? What's the end? Yeah, some of the yes. difference. You know what? You really don't need uh, to put hemp power hair on as an oil. You want to use it as a treatment, dropping it in the areas of concern and massaging it in. Now, if you just want to lubricate your scalp with some oil, the oil is excellent for that. It's a light oil. And I just take a little and put it on the scalp. But for my challenged area, I use a little, you know, drops. Like for the hairline, I put a drop here, here, and here and massage it using an upward motion for massaging. Because when you do that, you're bringing the blood up to that area faster. So I would put three drops on each side and massage it. But for as a, the lubrication of the scalp oil, I would use, I use the oud oil. I love it. Love it. So someone asked the question about how does shampoo work on gray hair? Will it cause it to turn yellow like some shampoos? No, I don't believe so. No, I haven't had that experience, but no. Okay, the ne next question. Oh, ladies, your hair looks beautiful. Love and part hair. Thank you, Mom Mitchell. We appreciate you, girl. <laughs> Let's, oh, here's a question for you, doc our Dr. Doris. <laughs> Can you go over the porosity thing again? The porosity thing? Yes. Like I said, good porosity is bad. Okay, let's start there. When somebody say, oh, you got good porosity, that's not good because that means the cuticle layer is open. Okay, and the absorption of water or moisture is, it, it holds on to in some too much. You can over moisturize a head of hair as over proteinize a head of hair. So what you want to do to test that is cut a little, you know, take a few strands out of your head, put it in some water. If it goes down, that means it is good porosity, meaning that's not good. If it floats on top, that's good. That means you you good, okay? But you don't want to have good porosity because the cuticle layer is the protective layer, once again. It's transparent and it's pro your protective layer for the second layer, which has which everything happens in the second layer. I'm glad they asked that question because when you were teaching that, I kind of missed that little last part. So okay. <laughs> I don't know what I need to do when I test my porosity. <laughs> yeah, test your porosity. And a lot of times people have hair that they don't want to cut. The ends are so beat up and sparse. All you have to do is take a white sheet of hair. Let me show you. Take a white sheet of hair and lay your hair on it where the hair starts to darken that's your most powerful hair from that point up. From that point down where you can see through it, you need to cut it off and it, because split ends continues to split, okay? Wow, we are learning something today, girl. You're gonna have us all empowered. We appreciate this. Oh my goodness, here's another question. Someone asked how do they purchase the product? So you would get with the person who invited you on the line. They're gonna have a website for you where you can actually receive these at 10% off right now. Plus we already have about 25, 30% off on most of our product packs. So you're gonna save a lot of money, get with the person who invited you. Someone just said, it's helping me. I was bald at the top 
Doris, I'm going to send you a picture. So wonderful. We want to see that picture. <laughs> so we have some, yeah, we have, we have a lot of those stories where people were bald at the top, hair is coming back. But again, the follicle can't have what follicle hysterectomy. As long as the follicle has life, <laughs> we can help. <laughs> that is great. Phenomenal presentation. Thank you, Jewel. Thank you, um, V. Johnson. Is the HPH conditioner good for locks since it's leave-in and detangler? So would you leave that in at locks or no? Since it's a no, leave-in. It's not a leave-in. The conditioner, not the shampoo. We're talking about the conditioner. Oh, conditioner. Yes. yes. It's good for locks? Yes, exactly. Cool. Yes. Someone wants to get the recording. We can get you the recording. So Kathy, if you can help us with that, we'll get that recording out. Thank you, Dr. Taya. She's on the line. She says, great information. Carol Sinor, thank you, Carol. Now that was good because I know I need to snip the ends. <laughs> See, we learned something, right, Carol, today? <laughs> We're going to do that paper test. So thank you, Doris. You just dropped all the nuggets. This is like a class we could have paid for, girl. We appreciate well, That's what Wakana is all about. Yes, yes. Making yes. sure everyone wins. And I want to make yes, sure yes. everyone wins. Awesome. Hey, Melissa, we got to have that million dollar month completed. Yes, I know. We did 900 something, but the millions coming, girl. That's going to be March, okay? <laughs> I want the hair segment of it to be, be the alone. Yes. <laughs> I like how you think, Doris. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Hey, Cora. Hey, everyone out there. Thank you, guys. They're saying it's very informative. Thank you all, Renee. Thank you, Bertha. Thank you, everybody. Yes. Well, and lashes, too, right? Because this helps with lashes, eyebrows. But you have to take it internally for the lashes, right? You can't put it on your lashes too close to your eyes. Okay. Wow. Well, with that said, we'll get the link out. We'll get the recording out. Um, 